Hey everybody, um, today I guess this will be part three of my Power Mac series, um, and let's just start out with a few things. Well, someone was going to give me a leopard copy, a copy of their leopard disc, but it never came, so I think um, they couldn't do it. Plus, uh, the user that I was talking to on YouTube, uh, his account is gone, got deleted or something, so I don't know what happened. But, I have great news, and sort of some bad news too, um, but it has nothing to do with my Power Mac. Um, good news is that I found a hard drive that had a copy of Leopard on it. Um, and it's a laptop hard drive, so it's plugged in right there with a hard drive converter and that's the one that's running Leopard and um, the bad news is over here is where it came from which is my uh, brother's Power Mac G4 laptop I mean PowerBook and uh, I'm not sure what happened but didn't want to start to charge and it died just battery won't charge anymore so I think it has something to do with the DC port sound board thing right there and wait I, I don't know anything about lap, Apple laptops yet and but I know that they're really tricky and really expensive to fix but anyway um, back over here I plugged the, la the ha laptop's hard drive in and it booted to Leopard automatically and what we're doing right now is copying, we're going to clone that entire drive to the hard drive that I had Tiger installed. I wiped this drive and now we're putting a Leopard on it. We're going to use, we're using a Carbon Copy Cloner. This is a freeware app you can get online. It's a very good app too. This, however, this is an older version, but uh, it's working just fine. Everything's copying over to the new hard drive that says Power Mac. But, uh, yeah, okay. So, I will let it do its thing, and I will plug the hard drive into its original spot, and I will uh, show you a video of it booting on itself without the uh, laptop hard drive installed. Okay. So, I'll see you then. Okay, now that we have the hard drive back in its place, we're going to boot this up now. So, I'll close this up. Okay. Start it up. There's the gray apple, that's a good sign. The leopard blue screen. Oh, it's pretty fast. Oh, there it goes. Put in my password here. Okay. Three D dock is up. I don't have the tool the bar at the top translucent, but I could. It actually works. Let's see. Two power PC seventy four hundreds. About this Mac. Nice. Looks like it's running pretty smooth. Um, 
let's see here though. Let's look at our monitor here. Helps if you have a lot of memory installed. I have 1.75 gigabytes. That's not a lot used, so that's really good. Also helps if you have a good graphics card too. Let's see uh grid the uh stacks work. Um let's see here. Spaces works. Time machine would work too, but I don't have a time machine drive connected at the moment. Launch the internet here. Internet seems to be working fine. Let's just go to Apple. Everything's loading pretty fast, thanks to the graphics card and two processors helping take care of the tasks working together. Sweet. So, it's the Power Mac G4 running Leopard, even though it's not supposed to, which is amazing. Thanks for watching. Bye.